Hey church. So taking a little bit of a pause and a break from our uh, Exodus and the Passover and all that today because this past Friday marked a significant date for us in the devotionals. And some of you that have been with us for a while, you know that we went through a series of devotionals in the book of Nehemiah. As we watched that book and went through this amazing story of a man of God who just trusted God and stepped in and applied himself in every way to see a vision become accomplished. We saw and read that the entire wall and the gates and everything around Jerusalem were built in 52 days and everyone knew that it was a God thing. And as we concluded the devotionals in that day, I asked all of you that were part of it to begin to talk to God over the 52 days that were coming and ask God for something specific for you to act upon that would be only accomplished because of God. So in that process, we engaged and asked and told you that we would check back in with you. This past Friday marked the 52nd day. Now I did wait till today on purpose because we needed that day to be completed before we would speak to you about it and it fell on a Friday. So here we are beginning a new week and I just wanna remind you, did you follow through on that prayer? Did you follow through with what you felt God was leading you into and what has God done? I'd love to hear from you. You can do it in the comments below or you can send me an email or a text and let me know. Church, here's the thing that I want to challenge us with today in and through that process. Now, if you weren't part of that, no problem at all. All I want to know and all I want to tell you is that if we're not doers of God's word, action steps, every message that I preach, we end with action steps. We've got to take what God says to us and apply it in our lives and live that truth. Therefore, I'm challenging you to not just listen and like what you hear Give a thumbs up or an amen or whatever, but take that truth and ask God to help you to see how to apply that truth in your life. For without the application, the truth is only judgment against us. Please let that sink in and let's be the church that acts and lives in the revealed truth of God. May you be blessed today and share that wonderful truth with someone. God bless you.